Well, we got a call saying it's been over private property. That's why we've uh, so obviously been called to come talk to you. Why so do you think that's a problem? Private property? It's not supposed to be over private property, especially the uh, context of the office, what's actually in the uh, storage as well, in the shop. Excuse me, mate, do you know what this place is? Ammunition? Yes, it's got a gun place, so there's other back guns and ammunition. Guns? Ammunition. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. So as you've just heard there, from the company next door, this is some sort of uh, gun place. They make guns. Ammunition. So we'll just pass in, and we notice the extreme security, especially that raised barrier just there, on the shutter. Very unusual to have something like that on the shutter. And you've got an emergency spill kit as well, which is uh, what it is. Um, I've got a YouTube channel and whenever we see a suspicious building with no signage, it's our job to show the viewers of where it is, what it is. And we try and find out what they do inside and they hate it. And sometimes- I would hate it as well to be fair. Yeah, sometimes they come out um, and then we find out a little bit more and then, and then they actually come on board oh, I see what so saying, it's all about um, a bit of interaction and for the viewers really yeah, so it's for YouTube yeah. but um, yeah what's your YouTube channel called? DJ DJ Audits DJ Audits yeah, I've got my own YouTube channel as well oh have you what's yours called? A Global Motorsport we do online racing and uh, racing oh right racing. how many subscribers? Uh, about 600 oh right okay yeah. we're, not, we're, not, we're not the biggest like but we're getting there so, right okay uh, thank you yeah no, 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 cool. uh, what, are you involved are you? yeah this is my product here yeah oh right yeah. Is it with the YouTube uh, no, 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 this is my work away, oh, this right. is my proper work, shall I say, YouTube's my kind of hobby. Something like this, what would it cost, about 30000 a year? Probably a bit more than that. 40? Probably close to 60, 70. Really? It's commercial, like. Wow. It? How many floors? Uh, two. Two floors in the office, but only one in the warehouse? That's correct, yeah. 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 And how many square foot in the warehouse? I don't know off the top of my head. Right, okay. Is it a big one? I should know by Is now, it quite new as well? The building, no. What we're doing is here, but the building's pretty old. It looks, looks really new units, to be yeah. honest. They're well kept. Yeah, well kept. It's been here for a while, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All right, mate. Well, thank this you, innit? We, what we did sometimes, we tried to connect our fence to his, his, his fence, and it set off some radar. So if you do want to get him out, that's the best place to get, to get him yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, they need to be heavily secure. Please. Massively secure. You see the raised barrier there? Yeah, yeah. That's it, so no one can go through. That's yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right pal, yeah. Take care, mate. No worries, pal. So it's not very often you see somewhere that deals with ammunition. And if you do find them, they're not normally on like a little industrial estate like this. So this place will be very, very touchy. And quite rightly so that it hasn't got any um, signage on or anything like that. Because if say like the protesters find out that this place um, supplies ammunition to groups that they don't like, like uh, Israel, for example, like that L bit group, then uh, yeah, they'll be all over this sort of place. So they're trying to stay as quiet as they can. But I mean, we'll have a little look around and take it from there. So the gate is simply on magnets and the, the lock is just for night time. And then you can see all the wiring going down here into the, the central unit that powers the, um, the radars, the intercom, the electric gates. But you'll even see down to the hinges. They've, they've, they've used very extreme hinges there. No, you're okay, mate. I'm just having a look around. Yeah, who are you, please? I'm just a member of the public, just having a look around from the outside. I don't want to come in today. That's okay then. Alright, I'm just staying outside, just having a look round, yeah? Yeah, I, sh I should warn you, all your movements are being recorded on CCTV. Yeah, that's alright mate, I'm recording this as well. I'm just making a video about the place today for social media. Can you see the camera in my hand, look? Yeah, I can see your camera, yeah. Yeah, just making a video from the outside about the place. Because it's, it's not very well known what you do here. Alright. Yep, okay then, we'll pass your details on to the uh, police and let them have a look at you. Police? <laughs> yep, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they've started playing games already, mentioning the police. 
So we can see some old filing cabinets in the skip there. But apart from that, not much out of the ordinary. A few vehicles. We've even got one of them uh, ventilation shafts there on the floor. And as you can see, that number plate there with its font, the W249 WFG, that's illegal. But all the others seem to be fine. So you'll notice these um, really tall beams up here. They're forming an infrared beam going from that one to that one down there. And obviously if anything breaks the beam, they'll go f the whole perimeter with this beam. And if anything, cli if you climb over this fence and you break the beam, that will send an alert inside. So while it's quiet, I would presume that this place have actually called the police. So while it's quiet and we're waiting for the police to arrive, I'll get the drone up. Have a look what's in that skip over there and have a look, see how far back this place goes. So let's get David out, the drone assisted visual information detective. So there we go, we took the drone over, we saw what was in that skip, just some old filing cabinets and some bits of metal, and the police have not turned up yet. Apart from uh, the skip and the spill kit and the uh, extreme security barrier on the shutter there, it would just look like any normal warehouse business. But there are some uh, other clues as we saw with these big uh, sensors and the laser beams. So as we see these UKPC park management signs, we notice on this one, there's a round sensor just there, which looks very suspicious. So let's go and have a look at a different one to see if that's got it on as well. And there you go. It doesn't have it on, look. And we've also got one of the signs over here, which once again, does not have it on. So that sensor on that sign over there is very very suspicious let's go and have another look so there it is once again and if we have a look directly opposite there is some strange circle over there as well 
So, are they talking to each other? Let's have a look. That one just says Schneider Electric. So, I don't think that is anything to do with that, uh, that sensor. But with it being out in the public, I'm not too sure what that is. And it's stuck as well. It's actually been stuck on with some sort of adhesive. Mmm, very, very fishy. But we have got one of these planning applications, which we like to see. This normally gives off a lot of information. And all that says is Trent Vineyard, Unit 1. And we've seen Trent Vineyard, it's actually next door just there. So that's not going to give us any clues to what this building is called other than the address maybe. So maybe this is unit, well it says unit three over there just above the shutter. So we'll call this unit three, Easter Park, Lenton Lane, Nottingham. And I wonder what that sign is there. Whatever that says. So let's do a quick Google of this address. Unit three, Easter Park. So we've just had a armed unit drive past the entrance. Some black Volvo, I think it was. So I suspect it's just drove past the entrance. And here we have, have the second unit who's turning down there for some reason. Oh, and another. They've sent big response for this one. So according to Google, it says it's NSAF Limited. Oh wow, we've got a carrier, an armed, unmarked vehicle, and a marked unit. Hi. How are you doing? Are you the gentleman with the drone? Sorry? The drone? Yes. You're, you're the gentleman with the drone? Yeah. Where is your drone? In my bag. Oh right, so you're not flying it? I've already flew it. Okay, what's the purpose of flying it? I'm making a video, it's got a camera on it. You're not supposed to have it over private property are you though? It's only public property. You are? I don't know what me what's making you think that. Well we've got a call say it's been over private property. That's why we've uh, so obviously been called to come talk to you. Why so do you think that's a problem? Private property? It's not supposed to be over private property, especially the uh, contents of the, what's actually in the uh, storage as well, in the shop. Well so there's no law against it I'm afraid. Can I just grab your tea sauce over? No, no I don't need to. Well, why not? I'm here to make a video. I'm yes. standing on a public footpath, yes. filming anything I can see with my eyes. I'm flying the drone in accordance with all the legislation there is for drones. Yep. You have quoted something that's incorrect, so maybe you'd like to just... Well, I'm going to find out from, obviously, uh, the store, obviously, where you've been flying it. So I'll find out if you've been private or public land. I'll tell you where I've been flying it. Yes. All over this area, over every single building, and there's no law against it. Asking why you have been flying it? I've told you I'm making a video for my social media channel. Okay. Which uh, place was it? I'm going to speak to them just to make sure we'll find out. Is that wrong? You don't know who called you? Well, I know, I'm going to find it's out. This one. Seconds. Unit 3. <laughs> I, I don't actually see what the problem is. You've not even told me what the problem is. Well, they've called us in uh, because they're concerned, obviously, that you're flying a drone over uh, a building with uh, stuff in it that they found quite obviously that's uh, sensitive stuff in it. So you're, you're letting on more than you should, really. How am I supposed no. to know what's inside? Well, that's, that's what I'm not letting on, have I? You say sensitive stuff. Yeah, so I'm not letting on what's actually in that thing. The, the old reason of making the video yeah. is because the building is unmarked. And that's what I do. I go oh. round any place, if the building's unmarked, I try and find out for the viewers of what it is inside. So far, that's all I've got. NSAF Limited, because it's unit three. Okay, and that's like so, of anything? Well, I'm just working through it now. Oh, okay. Right. You see, you, you see on this lamppost here, yeah. there's a planning application. And normally they let slip of what, what it is, but that refers to unit one. But I'm very surprised that they've sent an uh, armed, armed unit. Why? So that makes... Yeah, but for an armed unit to be called yeah. means We're that there's the actually... Area, no, no. no. We, we, we get, we the, get the, sent, the members of the public We get sent to social behaviour. Don't mean it's firearms. We're still police officers. My, Once police officers, powers arrest, we we'll speak to people, can't we? My observation... Yeah for the video yeah. is that an armed unit has been called for a reason 
No. It so, no. And I'm well, explaining it, it, to you. It's all adding. It's all adding to. Uh, maybe, maybe it does in your mind. Yeah. What I can tell you now is every day, every afternoon, every night, we're on duty. We're not always dealing with firearms incidents. We deal with domestics, we go to burglaries, we go to antisocial behaviour. We might be the only ones that turn up. It doesn't mean the person's got a firearm, it's just we're police officers. And if these guys are busy dealing with so many incidents, that's why we get sent. Do you know how that's we're on the 29th of March in 2022? Yeah. Have you used your firearm at all this year? This year? Yeah, this year, just this year. No, unfortunately, no. No? No, oh, brilliant. Only on training. <laughs> right, okay, no, that's good, that's but good. Not, not on active duty, yeah. no. So no. we're only three months into the year and you've not had to use it. What about a taser? Uh, no, not to use that. Is that, does that account for both of you? Or? Uh, I think so, yeah. So really, you're not really active as much as people would believe. So you, I, that backs up what you're saying. You're in the area, if a call comes through, you'll just go to it. Yeah. Yeah. Any incident, whoever's the nearest. Well, to be honest, you went past first, so you was the nearest. We did. But you missed the turning. Yeah, missed the turning. Who was driving? You? Yeah. Of course. So there we go. <laughs> All right, I but... I think not using the taser, it's out Maybe I talk to people, right? And they're like, hey, do you know what, mate? You're all right, you are. <laughs> well, I'm just surprised. I mean, I'm standing, I've not even attempted to go in. No. They've got these extreme lasers, which you've noticed, the infrared lasers. If yeah. anyone does go in, it will notify them inside. Yeah. They've got really good cameras. They've got the roadblock, which yeah. you've seen in front of the shutter. Something very sensitive is going on inside the building, right. but that's what our videos cover. Okay. Sometimes you get called, but you don't need to, because we're not disrupting them, all right? We're just doing a video for our audience about a, an unmarked building which many people go by and wonder what, what's inside. I think, I think it's like anything, it's like any building. Isn't it? some, some people won't bother calling if they see something outside, some people will. I mean, yeah. it's like, you know. But... I didn't press the intercom, but the intercom did come active. Right. And I told him, don't worry, no, nothing to worry about. I'm just staying on the outside. I'm making yeah. a video. It's an unmarked building. Yeah. It's, it's my topic of video. Yeah, yeah. That's it. Is that what we do? Visit all those like unmarked buildings? Only unmarked, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, there's quite a few around. There's, I imagine there probably is. And because, there's a lot. Because lot, you don't notice them, do you? But yeah. you, you, you do that. So you there's a lot of people. Well, the thing that strikes you about this is the roadblock on the shutter. That's very unusual. You know, the, the right. big and yeah. the really good cameras and the extreme security with the lasers. But apart from that, even people that work around here will have no idea. This might arise suspicion. So, well, it's only because we're here and you're here. But I'm doing no wrong, am I? People start talking, won't they? Going, what is that? Yeah. See what you're saying. But as you can appreciate, we get bored. We tip out, find out what you're doing. I suppose. If it is what I think it is, because you're called, I know you're saying you're the nearest, but if, if it is related to firearms, then I can see exactly why. But they're not it's not public information at all. They're just called NSAF Limited. It's not right to uh, you need to right to find out where it is. Oh yeah, you can imagine the response, can't you? They'll either tell you on the way. I'd normally just stand outside for a little bit and I do work it out, but oh way up. Yep, someone's let it slip on a magazine. Some random magazine. A, the gun maker next door. Ceasefire magazine in 2009. A detective work reveals that a company called NSAF Limited trades as Heckler and Koch and is based at Unit 3 Easter Park. Okay. There you go. Public information. Well, the <laughs> but... Well, you just, you just Googled it and found it. So it's public information, isn't it? It's on Google, yeah? Yeah, that's what you found, yeah. So, so thank you very much, guys. I, right, I, I, no it, that makes sense now. Right. And are you satisfied your suspicion about me? Uh, I, I'll be honest with you, I'm just checking with the drone officer. Oh, he's just pointing to me now. Oh, it's awesome. Have you put the drone up today? Or you I've got the drone in my bag, but yeah. let, let's see what he says. It's quite that's interesting. if you had it up today. Like, yeah, 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 I've had it. I've had it up well, over the Games GPS, Workshop. All GPS no flies anyway, doesn't it? Yeah. Like, well, the software. Yeah. I've been on Drone Assist. Yeah. Drone Assist is the most up-to-date database, and you'll see that. Uh, you see where we are at the minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just there. Yeah. There's, there's, a, there's no restrictions. There's no, no, but no. if you zoom out, it's hard to do with uh, your finger. But you see those red areas yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're the yeah, they're no flight restrictions. So there. The software, doesn't the software yeah. automatically stop that anyway? On the DJI Fly app, it stops. Yeah. But you have to then update the app yourself for that to be to be the most yeah. up-to-date. Because sometimes they put a blue zone around a temporary area. Yeah where they don't want anything. But yeah. this, this this place is, uh, you can fly all day long. Yeah, but your page then? Uh, Go on, you do this. You know, no, no, the you know thing is, right? Watch, you know cops watch it as well. Okay, so. my, my page is called <laughs> DJ Audits. Okay. A-U-D-I-T-S, DJ Audits. Okay. So you know of Audits in Britain. Well, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm just a smaller version. He's got 160, I've got about 30, something like that, you know. Yeah. 
Yeah, but you're more pleasant than me. Well, it, he, he covers himself up and everything, don't he? So, you know, if these start coming out with the cameras and wanting to put me on social media to say, who is this guy? Then I'll just go like that, just so I don't get slated, you know. But I don't suspect, suspect you guys to be using, you know, you know, this guy has done this. I've got an answer for you. So, you don't have to give my details because there's no cruel offence. Uh, you can obviously uh, have it over private lands, there's no restrictions. I think it's made to restrict over for certain flight paths as well. Yeah. So you're happy to go if you want to, to tell us what you want to do. Yeah, I've, I've got to the end of it now. So yeah. I normally see the police leave. It's called like the walk of shame. Oh, no, <laughs> oh, no walk of shame. Yeah, no, 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 that's no insult. Right, so I don't, so I don't, I don't, I don't. Exactly. <laughs> but it could have gone, you can see why it could have gone differently because yeah. you, you wasn't fully aware. No, I'm, I'm so sorry. So far that. Especially drone not come out recently. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of legislation to learn. Yeah, it is. I know. I know. I know. So, All right. I fully understand. You know, you don't have to give us details. I've got your own camera. Yeah. You've got I want a bit to hide, mate. If you need my badge number, mate, you're more well to have to. Three yeah. nine three seven. That's You've done no wrong, so I don't take badge numbers unless no, no, fair As I say, it could have gone different there, but yes. we're gonna have a chat like human beings, can't we? Just yeah, that's it. That's it. Always. Always the best way. So yeah. I'm just going to step away a little bit just to get you yes. leaving and I'll, I'll you, be gone. You, we're always going to speak to the company anyway regarding obviously our legislation around it. But obviously if, if it calls back, obviously come out and obviously confront you, then it'll be a different kind of uh, matter to deal with. It doesn't sound like it will. Yeah. I'm, obviously we'll, we'll be back in the area if we need to be. But I'm, not gonna, moments, I'm not going to stick around, but you see where it says there yes. on, on Google? Yes. That, that's answered my question. So. Oh, okay. So you've got the kind of answer to what I've got, Yeah, I've yeah. solved the mystery. So it's got it's big, got a big mystery. Big mystery. Wait, it, <laughs> nobody knows. I've asked. You've all solved the mystery. You can't <laughs> claim credit for that. Yeah, but <laughs> exactly. Nobody around here has googled that themselves because I've asked a few people and none of them know. Probably because no they've not bothered. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This is quite a new work. state as well, isn't it? Oh, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. not from here. <laughs> yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Let's get let's get back to it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So there you go, the armed unit, the Volvo XC90, the carrier, so they was ready to take somebody into custody, and the normal car down at the bottom. And it didn't take them that long, I'd say it took them about, what, five to ten minutes, and that's about it. But they're leaving now, all on friendly terms. And we satisfied their suspicion that uh, I'm not doing anything wrong. We're just making a video in the public areas, aren't we? So we'll cross the road so we can see all the vehicles leaving. There's the army unit. Off to another job. It's a nice clean carrier that is. It's actually got a cell in the back, look. <laughs> they was ready to take me away. And off they go. So that's it from this place. As I say, we have found out what it's called. It's NSAF Limited and it's a gun maker. We've got uh, the ceasefire magazine that have leaked the information as shown on the screen there. Not many people are aware of it, but Nottingham is home to a major multinational arms company. Just a short walk from the main university campus, an anonymous warehouse on the Lenton Lane Industrial Estate is the UK headquarters of Heckler & Koch, the world's second largest manufacturer of handguns, assault rifles, submachine guns and grenade launchers. Millions of Heckler and Koch weapons are in use in over 90 countries worldwide. But it does say just there, look, Unit 3, Easter Park, Lenton Lane. And that's where we are, Unit 3. So now we've solved the mystery and we've had a quick chat with the police. We'll leave this one here. And if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now.